This is just going to be a quick video on how to take a Google Maps location and turn it into an STL. We're going to start, if you haven't already, going to this website here where we download a plugin and you click uh, download and clone, download zip. Then once you've downloaded the zip, I've already done that, to your downloads folder, you go into Blender. I'm going to just click on this box, hit X, delete. Then I'm going to go up here to edit down to preferences, click on add-ons, click install, let's go downloads, and there it is, and then just hit install add-on. And then once you've done that, the thing you need to do is go into the add-on here, and you need to, right here, um, cache folder location, you need to set a cache folder location. I have already set one here but you need to find a place on your computer to put that. And then once you have completed all of that, just go up here to this new button that's been added, this uh, GIS button. And let's go down here to um, bitmap. We're gonna click on that. Uh, Google, yes, uh, satellites, nice, I like it. Hit okay. It's gonna take you to Google Maps and you can just scroll around here, but uh, the easiest way to do it is hit G on the keyboard and then type in the location you want to look for. I'm going to do B. B. Uh, my zoom location, let's do 18. And let's move around, look for some good mountains. Uh, guess I'm way too zoomed in. Oh yeah, I like that mountain right there. Nice valley, a river. Let's go right here. It's kind of cool. We've got a river going through there. Nice detail. Now we just, once we have where we want, you just hit E and that takes it to a nice plane. But having it on a image is not very helpful. So let's add the depth data. So hit get G, um, get stream. So click on that. And that's going to add the uh, depth data to that. But now if we go here and we want to just pronounce that a little bit, because why not? Let's go to see how we like it. Yeah, those are much better mountains now. Okay. And uh, you can just play around with it once you're happy. Ooh, I like those mountains. Um, start at the top here and hit apply to this subdivides one first, and then hit apply to the other one right here. And now we have our image, but it's going to be very large and hard to find in the next step. So when we go over here, you won't probably be able to find it. You just need to play with your zoom. Oh, there it was. Yeah, it's just huge. So um, if you go up here and you click on this little button there and you click on view, let's add a zero here. That increases your render distance. It's still not great. Um, let's make this to be a three. Okay, now the whole thing is in. Uh, now we can see it, but I'm gonna go up here and hit select, select all. Let's move it. Okay, there. And now, this is so huge, I'm going to shrink it. Make it easier on myself. Uh, a lot more reasonable, still huge, but a lot more reasonable. A little bit more. Now I'm going to lower it back down a little bit. And whenever you shrink it, it moves a bit. So now that we have that, I'm going to uh, click extrude over here. Let's just move that down a little bit. 
and then let's hit S for scaling, Z for Z direction, and zero on the keyboard to flatten it. Nice. And now I'm going to click over here and just move this down a little bit so we have some nice depth. Oh. And I'm going to move it over just a little bit. Straighten that out. But for the most part, that's it. We now have a G location with depth map and accurate proportions. So I hope this helps. Now all you need to do is file, export as STL. And you should be good. Thanks for watching.